Where are we right now, would you say, in the process of making your decision as to whether or not Coach Wolf will stay or if there's going to be a change being made? Well, my practice has always been to uh, observe and assess things during the season, uh, not to micromanage my coaches, and then have an opportunity to sit down with them at the end of the season and uh, discuss where, where the coach thinks we're at, in this case, Paul. And uh, we did that yesterday for an hour and a half and want to have a little more time to think things through and talk to him a bit more. And, and we'll, we'll have a decision made one way or the other within probably uh, 24 hours. What were some of the things that went on in that conversation that he talked about and, and just directions that he feels, I guess, the program's heading in? Well, I like to discuss the the season itself, injuries, uh, how, how we uh, developed as a team, our leadership. Always look to see if I feel that the, the team has quit on a coach, and I don't think ours did. Uh, and then like to talk about recruiting. Recruiting is so important, and it's so competitive, and where we're at in the verbal commitments and so forth. And then generally where, uh, in his mind, he sees the program going, where, where are we going to be next year or the year after? And, um, when, when does he feel that we can legitimately compete in the conference? Is there anything specific that you're looking to hear from him or not hear from him that will kind of make your decision and uh, you know could change that when you guys meet again? Well, uh, the, the bulk of what we had to talk about, in my opinion, we did. And uh, uh, when we meet again, we'll probably uh, I'll hear more about what his thoughts are, which we did also yesterday. Uh, and. Uh, it's, it's best for the program, for our players and our coaches and our fans to know, hey, where are we at so that we can, can go forward. So uh, that's why I'd like to get this all done within a day. You talked about the fans. I know you, know, you hear what they say. You said ultimately you'll, you're the one who's making the decision, but with you know, the fundraising and everything you guys are looking to do, how much of a part do, does that play in? Well, I do listen to the fans, and I want to listen to more of them because we need more fans. Uh, but uh, there, there's a, a, a tremendous feeling of, of um, family within all the Cougars everywhere in Cougar country, and, and they're very uh, passionate about Cougar athletics. So I want to listen to them. Uh, and there's people chiming in on both sides here. Uh, what we need to do, the healthy thing to do, is get it over with and all regroup and, and be behind the program, whatever happens. How difficult is this kind of a decision for you? I mean, you've had to make them before, but I'm sure it's nothing that you like to do. No, uh, if we're going to dismiss somebody, that's very tough um, because it affects a lot of families. And uh, yet, as we get into these uh, jobs, it kind of comes with the territory. But um, if there is a change, that's never easy. Uh, and yet, that's the responsibility I've been given by President Floyd, and I've got to make the, the right choice for Cougar Athletics. Are you leaning a certain way right now? No, oh, I, 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 I'm still thinking through it. And then the last one is, if there was to be a change made, what does the budget and the money look like to potentially go out and get another coach? Is, is there a substantial amount of money available, or is that something that you guys will have to work through? Well, we'll have to work through it. Um, we do have the, the new television money, which is going to be very helpful, and that we want to invest wisely. Uh, to date, we're primarily investing that into facilities and infrastructure for our program. But uh, it does give us uh, some, some money to go uh, in, in that direction if we want to do that. Uh, again, then it would probably take it away from some other areas. So uh, it's, it, it's never easy. These things are never easy, and they're not fun. But but uh, unfortunately, they are part of the part of the job.